Hello everybody, it's Mr. Cooper here. I hope you are all well. First of all, I would like to thank you as parents for your support today. I hope you've been enjoying the first uh, day of remote learning. It's certainly been uh, an educational experience for us as teachers, but I'm, I'm sure it's been the same for you. I'm sure you've had some great successes, some really, um, you know, some really strong learning taking place, but I'm also sure that some of you have had a difficult day and found some challenges as well. And that's to be expected when we do something completely new, something completely innovative. Um, and the most important thing that you need to know is that we are here to support you. So if you ever have any issues, then please contact us and we're happy to support you in any way that we can. Um, I'm going to do these videos um, once a day for the first week just to give you parents a few updates, a few pointers, a few tips to help you get into the remote learning period as successfully as possible. Paula Finn will be joining me as well on occasions to, to give her feedback, particularly from the FS point of view. But today I'm just going to talk to you quickly about a few things of how you can support your, uh, your, your children at home and give you a bit of a heads up about tomorrow's exciting launch of the live sessions, which I know a lot of the children are really excited about, our teachers are really excited about, a little bit nervous as well. Uh, but it's going to be a really great opportunity to have that really personalised conversations with our children. So, um, first of all, uh, now our teachers are looking through work and they're feeding back and commenting on pupils' uh, submissions through Seesaw. Um, the key thing is to know is that when the teacher has commented and provided feedback, if they've given some next steps, children can go back in and edit them and edit their work, which is really important, and that's part of the learning process. We expect in school with the books, when a teacher comments, the children go back in and edit their writing and edit their mathematics, etc. And we want the same thing to happen on Seesaw. So when the child goes back to their work and they see their, their, their teacher's comments, they can then um, click on the three dots at the bottom, like the options button, and there will be an edit item option. That will go back into the work and the children can respond and add in anything that the teacher has suggested. A key thing that I would encourage you as parents to do is check your children's work before they submit it. We're finding today that a lot of pupils are completing the work, but they may be missing out a few of the questions, they're skipping a few pages and not completing their work in as, as detailed as we would hope. And so to, um, if I were to suggest get the children to come over to you um, and speak to you and just say, can you have a quick look through my work before they press the green tick? You might be able to identify where they've not quite answered the question as well as you think they could, or they've missed out a page, etc. Once you are happy as a parent or an adult at home, they can click the green tick and send it to the teacher. Likewise, same with expectations. We expect the children to present their work as neatly as possible. We expect them to make sure they're checking their spellings. When they're typing away on touch screen, it's easy to, to miss letters out and to make typing errors. And so they need to make sure they're reading through their work as closely as possible to make sure there's no errors in there. And likewise, particularly with our key stage two children, capital letters and full stops. Just show your children exactly how to get capital letters on their screen and how to add full stops. Because some of our students who use capital letters and full stops perfectly well when they're writing, um, are skipping them out using the keyboard. So just check over their work and then submit that, submit it when you're completely happy. And indeed, the teachers, if they feel that the child can go back in and, and improve their work, they'll certainly do that with their comments and feedback on the, the activities that the children have submitted. Um, so that's made the main focus for today, is really making sure that the children going into tomorrow really focus on those capital letters, full stops and presentation. And if you as a parent can support that by just checking their work before they submit it, then that'd be fantastic. So tomorrow is a really exciting uh, launch of our live sessions via Zoom. So make sure you've got the Zoom app downloaded. There is no need for a login or sign-in, which is why Zoom is fantastic. Your teachers will make a student announcement saying, Live Zoom lesson will begin at 8 a.m. tomorrow in Seesaw. So they go into the inbox, see announcements, and your, the teacher will have posted the announcement ready to go. Just before 8 o'clock, click into that link. It will open up the Zoom application, and it will put you in a waiting room. When the teacher goes live, the children will then appear in the live session. They will be able to see their teacher. The pupils will not have their um, videos on, so the teacher won't be able to see the pupils, but they will be able to hear them. To start off with, though, the teacher will mute uh, the pupils' voices because I'm sure, as you'll understand, 24 children all coming into one live session is going to be very noisy. So it will be muted to start off with, and then the teacher will guide the children through how to respond, how to add discussions, um, and how to mute and unmute themselves as and when need be. 
Um, so that's really important to remember. So don't worry if the teacher can't hear you straight away. It's purposefully done so the teacher can uh, get their voice shared with everybody uh, before all the pupils start chatting away and 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 and, um, and, and just sharing their answers, etc. So um, just to give you a heads up on that, please be patient with our teachers. This is this will be the first time they've done it with children tomorrow, and so it may go wrong. They may have a bit of challenges, etc. But please um, support them and make them feel welcome. It's easy to talk to children face to face, and they do it every single day. But it's always a bit nerve wracking doing it over the internet. Even me recording now, it's a bit more difficult to remember what you were going to say than it would be if you were just talking straight in front of the children. Um, so um, please support them. And if things go wrong, then be patient with them and, and, and help them out if need be. Um, and secondly, is some of our teachers are at home because their, pup their children are, are obviously not in school as well, so they'll be doing it from their home. Um, which So they may get in, you may get interrupted by a toddler occasionally. Um, so please go with it. That's part of, of our experience at the moment of distance learning. Our, our teachers are, are in the same situation where some of them have children who are obviously not in school as well. Uh, but well, they will do their best to make sure that those live sessions aren't interrupted. Um, but if they have to sit their toddler on the, on the lap while they do it, then, then so be it. It's all part of the experience. Um, and, and, and on that note, I just want to finish by thanking all of the teachers because this is a new experience. We've had to learn a lot very, very quickly. Uh, you know, teaching, our teachers are very experienced in delivering lessons in front of everybody, but this is a whole new experience and they're working as best as they can to make sure that the experience is as positive for the children as possible. And it's a learning experience. So, you know, how, how the lessons look now will look different over the week because they'll change and adapt and, and personalise it to make sure it's working for everybody, including you as parents. Parents, um, which is why they're releasing in the lessons at 8 15 a.m all of them so that you as parents can work around your busy schedule to make sure that children access the learning as and when it fits in with your day as well so if you feel like you can't do it straight away in the morning because you need to do your bits and pieces then there is an opportunity later where the children can start accessing the lessons a little bit later um, so we've purpose made those lessons flexible for you as parents to fit into your busy schedules as well. The live sessions will be recorded as well and posted. So if you can't make all the live sessions, then they will be posted on Seesaw for the children to access at a slightly later time if they if you don't want to miss out. Um, and that's all really I've got to say for the first day. Lots of information. Um, hopefully over the next few days we'll start to get into it, start to understand how everything's working. But I just thought I'd share a little bit of time with you on how everything's going so far and what to look forward to, to tomorrow. Keep providing feedback to the teachers. We're here to help. If you have any issues, again, we're here to help. Uh, but prepare that things perhaps will go wrong to start off with tomorrow, especially with the live sessions. Um, don't worry. Um, ask questions. Get in contact with your teachers. And by the end of tomorrow, I'm sure we'll be in the swing of things and up and running for the rest of this remote learning period. So have a really good evening. Enjoy this experience. And, uh, and, and like I say, be patient. And if you need anything, then we are here to help. Have a really good evening.